welcome to another show on Nebo TV. My name is Agbache Onume. I hope we are all good. I hope we are all staying safe. All right, so then we're going to talk about the past governor of Edo State, Adams Aliu Oshomole. The immediate past governor of Edo State, Comrade Adams Oshomole, has said that it doesn't matter that he did not complete his tenure as the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress. APC. He stated this on Monday, 14th of June 2021, during the party's enlarged leaders' meeting across Edo North Senatorial District of the state held in Auchi. Oshomole had to step aside as national chairman of the party following a lawsuit that affirmed his removal as a member of the party in his word. He, however, said that what mattered was that he occupied the office of the national chairman of the party, for which he said he remained thankful to God. He said he has every reason to be grateful to God for his grace upon his life. According to Oshamale, it is on record that he did not only do eight years as governor of a dual state, but the party also worked hard to have his successor elected on the platform. So it doesn't matter what happened afterwards. Still counting his blessings, Oshomole said he was also privileged to become the national chairman of the party and it does not matter even if he had spent two days in that office. All that matters is that he has occupied the office and it is a history that cannot be changed and for which he is grateful to God. While commenting on members of the party who were elected to the State House of Assembly but were yet to be inaugurated, Oshomole thanked them for keeping their faith noting that even though they committed no sin, they were being denied their right to be sworn in to represent their constituents. He, however, said he believed that God would deliver justice to them in his own way and at his own determined time. Osho Mole thanked the leaders for remaining steadfast in spite of sponsored negative stories against some of them even as he saluted the foot soldiers for their trust and confidence and sacrifices in and for the party. He, however, said um, although some resigned from their positions based on principles, some resisted the temptations to betray the party for monetary gains, while others were sacked or illegally suspended from their elected positions. The former state governor who urged the party members across the senatorial zone to be proud of themselves disclosed that no projects were ongoing in Edo North, apart from constituency projects being done by APC legislators in the National Assembly and those influenced by Minister of State for Budget and National Planning, Prince Clem Agbar. He noted that since 2012, the party has not lost any position from House of Assembly, House of Representatives, and Senate. Not because the people were perfect, but because the people were determined based on party discipline, and that they must vote for the party's candidates all the time. Well, it is no news, however, that the power struggle and conflict between Oshimole and the present governor of Edo State cast lots of havoc in the All Progressive Congress, part of which led to the removal of Oshimole from the position of a national chairman of the party. It is a public notice that Oshimole dumped Obasaki, whom he brought out for governor in his first tenure for Izeyamu, who decamped from the People's Democratic Party to APC. Obasaki, however, dumped the APC to contest under the People's Democratic Party. Obasaki's decision did favor him as he won the election. On 28 June 2021, Obasaki's final victory came in when the Supreme Court finally passed judgment in Obasaki's favor. Indeed, celebration filled Edo State on 1 June 2021. 
Although after the adjusted gubernatorial election on September 19, 2020, news from Oshomole was barely heard. However, it was reported that Oshomole and Ize Yamu sent a congratulatory message to Obasiki after the ruling of the Supreme Court. But Governor Gordon Obasiki of Edo State rejected Adams Oshomole and Pastor Osage Ize Yamu congratulatory messages. In separate congratulatory messages, Oshomole and Ize Yamu have both appealed to the Edo State Governor to be magnanimous in victory. On his part, Oshomole, in his letter to Obasiki as made available to newsmen in Benin on Monday 31st of May 2021 by his media aide Victor Oshoike, appealed to the governor to put the past behind him. Describing Obasiki as a brother from another mother, Oshomole, while congratulating the governor on his Supreme Court victory, urged him to consider their past relationship and believe God has a reason for everything. Isayamu also appealed to Governor Obasiki to use his office to find an out-of-court settlement for the issue of the 14 lawmakers elect in the state who failed to present themselves for the inauguration. He also begged the governor to be merciful on some elected local government chairmen, vice chairmen, councillors, and supervisory councillors who were removed from office some time ago. He also pleaded with Obasiki to pay their entitlements. While reacting to the letter while addressing a large gathering in Edo State on Tuesday 1st of June 2021 as part of the celebration to mark his victory, Obasiki said if the opposition party leaders were serious about their congratulatory letter, they would have printed it on a letter-headed paper with a signature rather than pasting it online. And here again from Oshomale is a Thanksgiving statement about his leadership so far. But one striking thing is, uh, according to his statement, he said, even though he didn't finish his tenure as a national chairman of the party, it doesn't matter. But it will be in history that he held such position. So here is the question. Did he decide to take that position for history purpose or to actually serve the people? Let's know your take. Drop your comment in the comment section below. It's been a wonderful time with us all on Nebo TV. And yes, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please don't forget to click the subscription button and notification bell to always get updates from Nebo TV. Also, follow us on our various social media handles, our Instagram page at Nebo TV and our Facebook page at Nebo Tele. Alright, my name remains Agbaji Onome and I'm definitely going to see you next time. So don't go off. Stay safe. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.